I think we have to be careful not to get too hung up about generational things or giving them too many labels. And I'll give you a great example. When I was growing up, um, you know, in the 70s and, and the 80s, the Asian community were put in a, a goldfish bowl and people analysed us as having cultural clashes with our parents. And they overanalyzed us because my English friends and my English Brummy friends were having uh, issues with their parents around clothes and music, etc. But we're, they were never analyzed in the same way. So you have to be careful. Yes, we need to look at what the issues are, but let's not give it too many titles, let's not overanalyze uh, th that, that intergenerational uh, discussion. It needs to be had, of course, because we've got learning both ways, you know. Uh, we if, you want to, if you want something to happen that's good in the future, you've actually got to look behind what's gone on behind it. You know, I'm here because of what my mum did. You know, I built on her amazing shoulders and the hard work she did. Hopefully my daughter is, is building on some of the things that I've done in my lifetime. So, you know, you, I think that that generation, if you like, uh, carousel needs to be carried forward. It's about hearing different voices. It's about trying to understand different people's perspective and, and also maybe just sharing our experiences. I mean, I'm older than a lot of people here. Maybe I can share something that happened in my lifetime as, as, a, as a Birmingham girl. I grew up here, went to school here and all, all the rest of it. And there are new comers here who come into the city, but people who are born and bred here. And what, what, what are the exchanges we can have? And I remember, I mean, my mum's no longer with us, so there is learning I had from my mum. Maybe I can bring it into sharing here with some of the women here tonight.